amplifying you. At our core, what humans do is we make tools, right? Starting with the first arrowhead. And so over the years, as the technology's gotten better, we make better tools. The exoskeletons, it's just another tool to increase the capability of, of the human species. Exo's headquarters is located in Richmond, California, just north of San Francisco. All of our exos are actually built here in the office. The core mission of Exobionics is to help people. And we do that through the use of technology and, and augmenting human capabilities. People get hurt. It just, it's a thing that happens. Um, but I think for the first time you know, in our generation, we have the ability to apply some really interesting technology to help people recover in ways that weren't available to them you know, even 10 years ago. So we have the ExoGT, which is a medical exoskeleton geared for rehabilitation. Robotics for Stroke Rehabilitation. Stroke is the leading cause of long-term disability. So many of you may have seen some of these devices. You've probably all seen Iron Man. It's slightly different. The goal for this, for me, is stroke rehabilitation, is gait retraining. I want to help someone learn how to walk again. 2016 will be remembered as the year we got our FDA clearance for ExoGT. That was a big step for us as a company, and it's the only exoskeleton that has clearance for use with stroke. If you've had a stroke, if you've had a spinal cord injury, that device is really tailored to get people up, and eventually they walk out of it. It's becoming the standard of care. We still have work to do. We're doing a lot of clinical trials, but it's not if you're going to ever have a medical exoskeleton, it's when are you going to have your medical exoskeleton. We need to take the engineers making the robots, the clinicians who are applying this technology, and the patients who are using this technology, along with the researchers, to really comprehensively understand how this technology can be most effectively applied. What motivates me is uh, I always remember that first patient that I need to tell that he will never walk again. I felt so hopeless um, that I decided I need to do something about it. I'm a clinical scientist and uh, I've been studying for the past uh, seven years how the brain and the muscles connect to each other. We are fortunate enough to be part of this uh, first trial that EXO is doing to test if patients with incomplete spinal cord injury um, are able to regain gait function uh, better when comparing with, uh, with conventional therapy. Wearable exoskeletons are going to be a big part of uh, neuro rehab settings in the, in the present and very near future. There was one difficulty. Everybody wanted to try it. got our pilot programs off the ground in the industrial space. We have the Exo Aerial, which is a gravity balance arm that mounts uh, to scaffolding to the side of a scissor lift or an aerial basket that helps uh, support the weight of heavy tools while working there. And then we're coming out with the Exo Vest next year, which is geared towards folks that have to work above overhead. It was a year of transition. We changed CEOs this year to Tom Luby which I think was a good change. We were listed on NASDAQ as well, so kind of graduated from that company that was the initial startup. The products are a reality. I think we transitioned from science fiction to real products in 2012 when we launched our first EXO, and then it's only gotten better from there.
take the next step with us.